Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Empires and Puzzles video. And in this video we've got the attack boost war against a very high up alliance. I did not recognize them, but other people in our group did. Um, so maybe this is, I think it's something to do with Team Korea or something, I don't know. But maybe you recognize it as well. However, quite a mismatch for us. And they have very comfortably beat us. And you can see <laughs> really uh, holding down the top there. So I think we'll do what we can uh, with the flags we have left. Um, which is not that many. So we're not going to flip the board again. So I'm just going to chase the top spot there. Uh, just since they're holding all of it. And we've lost this one. So yeah, long time to see everybody. Hope all of you have been doing well. Uh, just been a busier time, but I'm looking forward to getting some videos back out for you guys, including this one. So to get the top spot, we need all 62s and one 63. So that'll be a little bit tricky. Um, because there is a finite quantity and they're all the craziest teams, so we'll, we'll do our best here. Uh, this one ate a few of our flags earlier with some zeros against it. Oof, man, I'm really gonna have to fight all the toughest teams if I want to get that score. Well, that makes sense. So Red Tanks was quite a surprise. A number of copies of the... Whoa! 68. Oh, it's because they got this guy on there with crazy stats. Oh my god, this team is nasty. Oof. 68 points, that's wild. That's the person who's in first place. Oh, the double limit broken Hathor Tanks. No spend. <laughs> Yikes. Well, you know what? <sighs> Actually. <sighs> Let's give it a try. Most team, most points on the board. Um, so I think we're going to go with... Oops. Yes, you. Maybe this. Let's see. Tough call here. I think I've got to do it this way. But if Hathor fires, then I'm not going to be able to use that. <sighs> Nor will I be able to use Azerite's ability, though. So. Uh, maybe. <laughs> this is a tough call. I think this can work. Mm. I, think I won't bring both bards on one team. Let's maybe do this. Okay. 
think I like the reds down the middle. Probably only the three instead of the dragon bomb, so I can shift the greens around as well. Um, and it's going to combo the purples, which is not so great, but it will move uh, some blues into position, and maybe I combo blues as well, which has the potential to help me get my taunt going, which is going to be really important. Wow, she's already firing. Okay... I don't think I need the green diamond. I think I'm gonna go for the combo instead. There she goes again. Well, I could use taunt, purple dragon. It's gonna give me two blues. How many more turns on this? One more turn. And it will still combo the middle, so I think that's the best move to make. So we will taunt. Ooh. All right. How much damage is he going to take when she gives an attack boost? 888. Jeez. Alright. Well, let's do it. Heal him back up. Yeah. Oh. That feels good. Wow, what a combo. Finish it with tiles. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Excellent. So, that gave us five more points than we need, so we could do a couple lower point teams if we needed to. Not that there's anything easy here. So we probably gotta do 60 points and up. And the interesting thing about this guy is he's not good for purple tanks because he doesn't punish yellow. So if you bring a primarily yellow team, you take away the worst part of his special. All right, 66. Oof. That's nasty. Look at these stats, too. 2,400. Wow. Yikes. Yikes. <sighs> Hurricane is just dangerous all on his own. That's a pretty dangerous team. I mean, these are all bad. Like, that's easier, but I'm not going to be able to get the top spot by taking those teams, so we got to hit 60 and up. This one is doable. Um. <sighs> hmm. There's a lot of fast damage here. Like I was thinking to go with Garnet or some sort of uh, ailment immunity. I don't really want to take blue because there's so many difficult red teams here that I'm going to have to reach a bit higher than that. 
Hawthorn. I think I'll take a yellow team here. Two matches. Should probably take them. Red Diamond doesn't do me any good. Oh man, this is close. Can we get a yellow? No. Oh, we got it. Oops. It will take a little damage for the attack boost. 200 we can live with. And let's make sure they don't get dodge. Good, good. Sand damage keeps the pressure on, which is nice. So let's kill her. No slash attack now. finish it off. Okay. Man, I really want, I really want to try this team, but it's so ugly. 59.99 team power. What would I even take here? Have to come out heavier on the blue. And aside from that, what would I do? Okay, so she's taking away boosted health and applying burn damage. The reduction of boosted health, oh, max health. Stronger against boosted health. But see, blue is risky because you're getting counterattack damage the whole time. And if you can't get something going, then you're totally screwed. And it's hard to get something going because you've got him. It's crazy that he can taunt for four turns even though he's only a three-turn taunt. That's wild. He's better before you charge him. <laughs> In a sense. I think I'm not going to go for that team. It's fucking insane. Push my luck already with the first one. And another one of those. So, what other high point teams do we have? Looks like Malix has the same idea. We're both chasing the same top spot. I think I've got to go here. <sighs> he punishes purple, so let's take maybe yellow and red. Thinking. Garnet and should I break up my red team or just alter my red team? Because mm. Hurricane, if you can block his stuff, is not that bad. Um, I mean, the damage is still high, but what makes him so bad is he's healing himself. But we could also go with a pretty good yellow team. Like, 
Shove. Hmm. I think I want to not take my gazelle team. Ice gets defense down. So we need like some hefty tile damage. It would be nice to just be super fast, like something like this. And then maybe Garnet and another big healer. Garnet and Hathor. So my only buff blockers are Garnet, Hathor, and Cleopatra, but we're already using Cleopatra. Or we're already using yellow, so we don't want to bring a fourth hero. So, Garnet. We could just do Garnet and Hathor. And just fire them in the proper order, so that way... I've got a lot of buff blocking. Ailment blocking. Or I could go for another big healer, but my two big healers are Zuri and Cleopatra, who are both yellow. I think we do this. We have the bard, so I think this makes her four tile charge. I think. All right, let's get the troops right here. So let's go 20. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Ooh. Hmm. Shit. Shit. Got some great combos, but... I'm going to be dead if I just charge up. What's his name? So if I make the green, it's going to drop the blues down, which will then drop the purples down, which could bring in a bunch of stuff in the middle. And because it's a bigger combo, the mana gain will start to taper off versus making all of those as single moves. Um, what else can I do? I can make the three reds, and then what? I can make the blues to drop down more reds. I think I've just got to do something a little bit bigger here. Okay, easy, easy does it. All right, so if I make the reds, it will not set him off. And then I can block the worst of his special. <laughs> Fuck, I really need something to happen here. Maybe I do the purples afterwards and the dragon will set off Hathor, so at least I can keep the healing going. And maybe something better comes along doesn't ow <laughs> this board is challenging Ooh, this is closing in on me rather quickly. 
Why does he have three attack boosts? Jesus. One turn left, so it's to my advantage not to set him off now, even though a lot of shit is closing in on me here. <sighs> shit. Okay, we simplified that, so we could get a favorable combo here, but it's not looking likely. And we're just going to probably succumb to all this crazy attack power. So what can I do? I need to get some specials going. I've only matched, oh my god, a thousand. Nice to at least kill the fucking tank. Well, it looks like I'll be able to do that much. No, 459. Oh. Alex is having the time of his life right now. Oh my fucking god. What can you do in that situation? Like, the way my mind works, I'm like, did I bring a bad team? Was it a bad team composition? I really don't think so. I mean, I, I survived a few turns blocking the worst parts of his special move the board around, took some risks, and just never matched more than, I think, four yellow tiles. Or, th you know, three in a dragon bomb. So, I don't know what more I can do there. Or what, you know, what better I could do. Sure, if I had all teams like that one hippo team, maybe I would fare better, but, you know, that's just a whole crazy level. Well, that sucks. <sighs> All right, three more. I mean, I guess we might as well go wild here. <laughs> it could be real bad, but I'm, I'm curious. Well, she's got the counter attack, I think. I think I want to take my uh, superior wizard team. A little bit nervous about this. However, uh, like blue is not a good idea, and I don't have blue superior wizards. So dispelling that, not possible with blues. And I just think... Throwing blues into counterattack is not a good strategy. It's hard not to take a dominant color against a tank like that, but I think this is the better option. This is not a super strong team. It's powerful, but... You know, it doesn't have taunt. Like the reflect is for the weakest hero, but like, what do you do here? Blue seems like not the move. You have Alpha Taunt against a very fast team. So what can you do? Superior Revive seems like a good idea. Or Superior uh, Jinx. Yep. Let's see what happens. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Okay. So yellows are looking the most likely, though. I need to be careful. I guess the one thing I didn't plan for is... What's my answer to the tank? 
alone. Whoa, what? Immune to status ailments as long as this character has a minion. Where is that? <laughs> what, part, what part of the skill is that coming from? It's not the special skill. The family bonus is just summons a mask minion. Is that new? Wow. What a fucking team, man. Okay, it's looking like... We're gonna have to take a hit, so I'm tempted to take the blues down the middle because of how many yellow options that gives me. But I'm wondering if I should take the... You know, near the suggested move, the yellow's there. Make the purples off to the side, which gives me two yellow combo opportunities. That's probably smarter. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, it's close. We did dispel, but he's almost charged again. <laughs> uh, and just once again, where's that final match? Nowhere to be found. Now I'm needing to switch back to reds. So I'm about to take a huge um, a huge decrease to health while Taunt is going to be active again and Aramis is not far behind. So what do I do? Uh, it's seeming like I'm just going to have to get hit by this center hero. I can do the blues and if reds combo, which would help a lot, it's also going to set off some more shit, so. Oh, isn't that just the way it goes? Okay, except the fucking taunt is active again, so. Oh, that stacks? That's crazy. Because normally the deal is, um, oh shit, and then I'm not going to be able to sleep Jove because he's got the goddamn minion on him. Wow. That's crazy that it stacks most health reduction. Um, wow, I'm just stunned. And we've got all these slash attacks coming, which means I need to act now. Um, and use... Well, at least Fortuna we won't have to worry about. Oh, what am I trying to say? Most health reduction can't go below a certain point, but this can <laughs> and I don't have any health boosting so that was a poor plan but I didn't realize it's stacked all right we don't have to worry about Fortuna but Jove can now kill the entire team so let's go right down the middle I suppose god but what do we do about Jove Wow, didn't even get a kill. This should kill Aramis. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow, luckiest revive ever, but jeez. What a ridiculous hero. Wow. And the burn is 300 per turn on top of super reduced health. Jeez, okay, that's a crazy strong hero on defense. 
All right, how can I make the biggest possible combo to try to kill forces? So Fortuna is going to slash, which is going to kill. So I have one move to make. I can for sure kill the tank. Uh, if I... Like, I either... Hmm. I only have two yellow, so it's not that strong. Let's just do this. See if we can set off some kind of bigger combo. Something. Oh. Tough war. Give myself a little palate cleanser here. Oof. Uh, who am I looking for? You. Nice. All right. I'm glad Malix was able to do that. Okay. It's the theme of the day. Can I get the third fucking match? Oh, and Anne is firing. God. Okay. Don't see many options here. sure it's two tiles for oh there we go yeah. gotta block Ludwig and I don't have my own Ludwig, which really makes this tricky. Wow, look at all that shit. And they just got counterattack. Oh my god. The timing. Hopefully she doesn't get multiple hits. Can I risk? Khufu's gotta kill himself, right? 80% crit. <sighs> I think I need to try to wait it out, as crazy as that sounds. See if I can keep Grimble going. Keep the healing going.
three times. How many turns is this counterattack? Four turns. Wow. I feel like it had already been two turns. He's in a fire again, so. to do this. Oof. Poor guy. Can't let her fire. Ooh, that was pretty good. Oh my god, can I make it all this way? One more turn of counterattack. Reds are the best match I can make. It did screw up my diamond though, which maybe was not the best idea. If the sand damage will take hold of. This is really fucking close. 140. God, the only problem is, well, Anne will most likely kill someone if she revives again. Oh my god, you little bastard. You little bastard. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Wow. I mean, this shouldn't have been as close as it was, but at least I'm not going to lose. <laughs> that is something. Wow, what a match, though. That was pretty good. Healed back to full. Loves the leader too. Thanks everyone. <laughs> Wait, that was not the leader. It was right behind the leader. Alright, one more. What's my team gonna be? I've got Ariel and Hathor. I guess I could take my Green team. Green team, or I could do a decent blue team. Have trouble with one of these. All right. Green team or a blue team. Let's try another blue team. I think slightly different formation. Maybe this is a mistake, but I kind of want to try it. 
Kind of in a position where I'm almost considering four one. Can I overcome the amount of healing here? So, <laughs> all right. Yeah, you better die. Two turns. Well, let's give that a try, shall we? It's plus 44% mana generation with some passive mana. Should be enough to recharge her right away. Almost. But this turn. Wow, what an incredible board. Uh, who's better? Okay, well we got a lot of taunt, so let's try to work this board out again. So Aramis is going to keep healing, but with taunt it's not going to be that much. Actually did hurt quite a bit. All right, new taunt. Well, that was just a heavenly board. This guy's got a lot of health still. Okay. can burn the monkey with his own fire as the saying goes wow look at his attack boosts plus 80 percent attack 40 is holy only but still all right attack boost what can loki do he's gonna copy the attack evade you motherfucker but he copied the, uh, they copy the stacks? What? What's going on here? So he's got plus 40% attack from stacks because the stack is, caster gets plus 20% attack against the weaker element. Oh, because it's part of the special skill. And so he's copying the special skill, so he's done it twice. Stacks against fire. Interesting. Interesting. Well, he's still taking the fire damage, even though he evaded the big hit. All right, there we go. 
I'm tempted to say that I like that team. However, <laughs> I like that team because I started off with a big ass blue diamond against a red tank. All right. Okay. Pretty far down in the pack, but yeah, this was a total mismatch for us. It's, I'm amazed that Malix was able to grab the top spot, so that's pretty impressive. Um, yeah, it looks like we're not going to cross 6,000, and they could cross 7,000, so pretty indicative of a mismatch. All right, defense is, as you can see here, Jove, the newest addition. I don't know if you saw, but I did. Um, 11 single pulls in a row and got Fortuna on the first one, the Hero of the Month, Thorn, and then Jove on the 11th one, which was just crazy. So maxed him out pretty quick, and I'll need to make some double limit broken decisions here soon. All right. Uh, let's see how it did. Not expecting much against this team they performed at a level indicative of the mismatch. A lot of zeros for us in here. But some really satisfying battles, for me at least, some frustrating ones, but... All right, there's a one shot. Another one shot. Yeah, you need like a double limit broken defense if you want to play at the level of the team that we're playing against. Uh, which I don't want to do. <laughs> we try to avoid this because it's uh, crazy over the top. A lot of money in those teams. All right, looks like they farmed the weaker teams quite a few times because I only got hit three times. Um, so yeah, smart strategy, crazy teams. Happy to move on from this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm really curious about the thing that I mentioned before of the one that I lost with a the Jove team, yellow and red. You think that was a bad team or you think that was just a punishing board? I think it's hard for me in this game when it feels like there are situations that are just completely outside your control. It's kind of an unfortunate aspect of the game, uh, that randomness RNG kind of factor. Um, yeah, so anyways, let me know what you think about that and any of the other things that I mentioned. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully you missed the videos and you're glad to see these. If so, let me know in the comments. That sort of, uh, as silly as it may sound, that sort of encouragement does make it more likely for me to upload more often. Um, so yeah, thank you for the support. Uh, what else? Please hit the like button and subscribe. Another way to show your support. Quick couple of clicks and all it means is seeing more of the content that you already like watching. So, uh, that's that. See you in the next video.